Hey everybody, it's Joe Grotesque, back again. I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things in this environment of mine that's so hectically busy most of the time between my personal life and being at work at my full-time job. Most of my free time gets eaten up pretty easily. So I've been kind of working on a few things, stretching them out over that said free time. Uh, one of them is something very top secret that I can't talk about right now that I'm just going to kind of spring up on you guys one day and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when that happens. Another thing is I'm really trying to get Generation Rad off the ground before this year is over with. So you're going to see some pretty cool Generation Rad stuff popping around. And uh, so aside from that, I've really been trying to set aside a little bit of time to actually play some video games. Now, there's one video game in particular that's been taking up that said time, and that's The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is a fantastic game, and uh, it really exceeded my expectations, I have to say. I'm still playing it. I can't really give a full review because I still have a lot of stuff that needs to be done. However, what I've experienced so far has just been breathtaking. I was actually playing it one night and then started to get really tired so I cut it off and I looked up at the clock and it was like 5 in the morning. And of course, yeah, I have it on the Wii U and not the Switch because, well, I haven't really given my Wii U enough love. I only bought it about a year and a half ago and that was to play Mario Maker on it and I really haven't touched it since then, so gotta give the Wii U some love and I gotta hand it to Nintendo for actually making it available for the Wii U. So just so this isn't some random update video, I really wanted to do a little bit of show and tell for you guys. I have gotten a couple of cool things recently I wanted to share with you. One of them is a comic book and it's Dracula versus the Silver Surfer. My God, why won't someone make a hack of this a homebrew of some sort where you actually take the Silver Surfer from the NES game and maybe mix it in with Castlevania or something. That would be cool, right? So who'd have thunk it? Dracula versus the Silver Surfer. And I mean, it says down at the bottom, the most shocking story of them all. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with that. Now, this other thing I got was through the mail and it took me about a two month wait to actually receive it. And that's the Funko Hikari Candy Coated Frankenberry. He's limited to 200, you know. Some of you might know about my obsession with the General Mills Monster Cereals. If you don't, then that's okay. Frankenberry is one of my favorites. If you don't know about Frankenberry, I suggest doing some research. So guys, that's about it. I will come back with something a little more informative and entertaining in my next video, I promise. Until then, you guys stay beautiful, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.